In 2021, when there was an eruption of the Fagradesville volcano, when we studied the thermos chart, I was thinking that the daily pattern of shopping of the people around that area, moving in and out from the car park, may have an effect on the thermos chart. Thermos chart sometimes looked funny, like this case, that <laughs> I thought it looks really more similar to a dragon, as you will see in, <laughs> in, a, in a few seconds. Yeah. That was the dragon that we saw in the tremors chart. We can see more patterns if you look carefully. And one of them is the one I'm going to show you. This is what I've called caterpillar because it looks like a caterpillar with numerous legs. Also probably a uh, double meaning here. We may mean the, uh, the brand of the machinery called caterpillar. And there is a suggestion that may be related to the shifts of the work for the people every six hours we saw it the shifts are not six they're 12 but do they have breaks between them every six hours when they turn off the machinery there will be a, a drop in the tremors that is the legs of that caterpillar we see in the in the chart if it is related to the movement and the shift of the machinery and the workers we should see that during the eruption when the machinery in the Swartzengi in, in February 2024 were actually at work, they must have had shifts. And uh, during those shifts, we should have seen those caterpillar uh, legs, means turning off of the machinery, a drop in the tremors. We don't see that for the period of the eruption. Again, on the uh, 11th and 12th, Sunday and Monday of February, uh, we didn't have this caterpillar effect. Maybe the bad weather caused people not to show up on the work. We know that people have work. So they were working to restore the pipeline, the hot water pipeline, to the towns in the Reckoners Peninsula. So this cannot be the reason. Some may suggest that this has something to do with the tides. Every six hours we have tides. So this can be an effect due to that. The eruption at the 8th and 9th of February in the Swartzengi area happened during the new moon where the tides are highest. We had one of the most active uh, times just before the eruption in the Grindavik, which burnt part of the town. No effect due to the caterpillar effect, although we know that the people, the workers, were working day and night in shifts. Uh, and uh, they were trying to actually, during the eruption, to block the pathway of the, ma of the lava to the town of the Grindavik against the barrier. They were there, no caterpillar effect, at least very pronounced effect we cannot see here. So that caterpillar effect here, it was not probably due to that. Although the machinery were working all around, all around the clock during the, that time in shifts, which supposedly people cannot work continuously. Yet in the February eruption, we have this before the eruption uh, in the, around the Grindavik again, there was no work being done around that time uh, in the town of Grindavik, yet we were picking this caterpillar effect before the eruption in the Swartzengi in the February, and this was just before the new moon. So it is not very clear what the effect, uh, uh, the root of this effect is. Is it caused by the shift patterns when people turn off the machinery? We have a drop in the uh, caterpillar effect. Then when the next shift starts, again, uh, during that shift, you will pick up the tremors by the machinery created on the surfaces. But there is, uh, the evidence is not cons consistent with what we see as I presented it, with what we have seen during the eruptions, before the eruption, during the work that people were doing in shifts around that area. And uh, it is, it is something that we have to study more. We cannot just say that, oh, this is just due to this uh, uh, factor and ignore the others. Uh, we have to actually access the shift pattern, not just by looking at a camera. You don't know what's going on. You may not see them most of the time because they're not in, in front of the camera or the bad weather has stopped it. So without actually seeing the shift pattern in, in reality, but just looking at a camera, you will not have a consistent, you know, uh, result by telling that this is due to this pattern of the shifts. It may be due to the tide. I'm not fighting for that. Can be also due, the, uh, due to the shift pattern. But this is not consistent with what we have seen. I would say probably the jury is out on this. Uh, uh, I cannot say this is due to the tide 
100%. It may have an effect on it. It is not well studied. It's beyond the geologists, I should say. And uh, I think that the shift pattern also does not uh, always fit the pattern that we see here as I presented to you. I have some videos about this, uh, what is called as caterpillar effect. This is the what you see in this, uh, I'm showing again, tremors chart from the Grindavik, from Schwarzenegger, you can see it also. Uh, if we want to be sure, we have to do a proper study on this. I have access to the data, shift patterns, probably one of those data. Tide tables can be another source that we have to consult. Until then, probably we should say that the jury is out on this. We are not certain what it means. We have a sudden plunging of the tectonic tremors in the Grindavik uh, seismometers. This is the chart that I've animated for you. As you can see, over a period of several weeks, you can see that. And there is a plunge today. The blue line shows the tectonic earthquakes, fault lines moving. Volcanic earthquakes or magma uh, earthquakes are those purple lines. Green line is something between them. When that tectonic earthquakes plunged, and as I showed you, that means the seismic activity is something wrong with it. It has reduced suddenly. It means blocking the fault lines. Fault lines are not moving. The gas pressure inside the magma may rise, and uh, bubbling continues. The magma is hot and is kind of melt. It's present at a depth. And because it is not uh, letting the gas come out, the fault lines are not active, we may have an eruption. Gas pressure building up. At the surface, we don't see anything other than the planet Jupiter shining in the sky. But the, inside the crust, the pressure cooker is gathering pressure. It may erupt, build up a pressure, is dangerous if it is not vented to the fault lines, to the release of the pressure. Something is going on. A strange tectonic earthquakes pattern are emerging in the Grindavik uh, seismogram uh, charts, as we see. As we know that this area in Iceland, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, is separating, extending. Eurasia in one side, North America in one side. They are tearing apart, creating new land as the magma rises, becomes lava, new land, new ground, new lithosphere, earth crust is created. And the normal faults and faulting creates a pattern of, uh, you know, uh, tremors that we know as tectonic tremors. When every crack appears and a fall down of the uh, middle part of these two faults, a grab and forms, we will have one uh, of these earthquakes or a little bit crunch and extension and contraction. It appears when you mark these points every day, we had around uh, four of these, every six hours almost, this pattern repeats. Of course, we are seeing the blue line is the tectonic earthquakes, and now in the green Grindavik, we have the magma line, which is the magmatic earthquakes, are actually switched. This may point to an eruption. It is not due to whether the weather is fine at the moment. I wonder this pattern of the repeat uh, four or five times. It may be related to the tides. We have a tide. Of course, some uh, some people who are just, you know, parrots practically, they never think oh, and they just repeat. Even they may publish papers and so, but because they don't have independent thinking, they don't really uh, think out of the box. But when you think about this situation, you may actually not be out of range if you say that there is a relation between these earthquakes and the tides. If the waves of the ocean can affect what we pick up as, si as seismic activity on our seismometers, they can definitely have an effect on the earth crust and the atmosphere. I have a video about this, just watch.